in several ways, really. We, uh, the Today Show went from black and white to color in the early years I was doing it. Uh, we on remotes we did we used to have to pre-tape some shows and then travel and then air express back films of what the shows we were going to be doing. Uh, toward the end, the satellite came in a useful uh, satellite uh, sending messages so that we could we could broadcast uh, depending on where we were we could broadcast live a place where the time zones weren't too far off. How did, uh, well, go ahead. How did color, uh, the, the change to color, affect the broadcasting and, and the content that, uh, or did they? I don't think there was a big effect, really. Uh, th it made television more real and it was better for the viewer, but it didn't change much the way we did things. Uh, uh, there may have been some instances of things where it didn't matter whether it was colorful or black and white or whether the colors clashed or anything that, uh, that set uh, designers would pay attention to. And, uh, and costume, too, because you know, in the old days you wore an off-white shirt. Uh, in the early days of black and white television, you wore a pink shirt. And then later, blue. And now you can wear a white shirt, because for a while, white was a no-no, because the scanning beam couldn't drop voltage fast enough when it scanned off of the white, and it would, it would uh, bleed off into a dark suit and so forth. And, and it's over that now, because they're very, very sophisticated.